Hey everyone! In today's video, I am going to tell you about Quick Outdoor Studio Setup for Portrait Photography Welcome to Manual Mode Photography. In today's video, we will discuss about Quick Outdoor Studio Setup for Portrait Photography. Setting up an outdoor studio for portrait photography is an easy task if you can implement some easy steps that we are going to share with you in this guide. When you want to organize your own outdoor photography studio, it requires some finances. To help you easily set up your own outdoor photography studio, we are providing a quick outdoor studio setup for a portrait photography guide. Quick Studio Setup for Outdoor Portrait Photography to start making your own outdoor portrait photography studio, you need simple DIY instructions. The things that you will include. Four or six one meter long fiberglass tent poles. Thin gray cloth for the diffuser, black polythene. Clips. Hammer. Stretchy backdrop fabric. Two or three sturdy poles, each measuring around two meters in length. White sheeting. Cable ties. Small step ladder. Rope. Elastic. Two or three key rings. Grounding pegs. Tent pegs. Once you have everything arranged, here is how you would set up your own outdoor portrait photography setup. Select a layout for your outdoor photography studio. To start, you need to make a layout for your studio setup. Let's speak about the location before we go into how to set up an outdoor photography studio setup. Remember that if you have access to good natural light, you may not always need to purchase expensive lighting equipment. Natural light provides enough resources for types of photography like portraits. The layout must have a larger room that can cover goods like furniture or gadgets. You can increase your studio work portfolio if you have access to a larger area like a spare bedroom, second living space, or even a garage based on the type of portraits you want to capture. Working on frame Then you have to set the frame for your outdoor studio. The frame can have two or three poles. A usable backdrop space varies on the height you use. The backdrop will be larger, but the poles will be difficult to control if they are too tall. You won't have much room if they're too short. The height of the upright poles should be roughly 2 meters. They may split in half to make them more transportable. You can anchor the upright poles to the ground with strong steel grounding pegs and cable ties. Then attach a keychain to the top of each pole so that the background rope can be threaded through it. Putting the backdrops in place You might have to stitch a hem into a black backdrop you are using so the rope can pass through. You can clip the white backdrop into the rope to hold it in place and stitch it right. You can draw the rope tight after feeding it through the keyrings. It should be positioned appropriately and slightly behind the backdrop and fastened to the tent pegs. A little in advance of the backdrop, a second rope should be attached to the top and attached to the tent pegs. The background fabric must be tightly stretched and fastened to the upright poles to prevent wrinkles. Particularly in the case of the black cloth, any creases will reflect light. Polythene can be secured with clips behind the black fabric. Configuring the diffuser Regular tent pole connectors are used to attach two fiberglass tent poles together. There is a bent connector connecting to each upright pole. You can insert the tent poles that support the flimsy gray diffuser cloth into them. To prevent the diffuser from sliding, you have to tie elastic to the outer end of these and clip it to the front rope. The next thing you can do is lay the sheets in a light shade if the ground cannot serve as a reflector. Use DIY Backgrounds While photographing portraits or body shots, you'll need a backdrop to provide a clean and unobtrusive background. DIY backgrounds can be used to capture various portraits. The most crucial thing is to use neutral colors, such as gray or white on a white background. As a backdrop, use a neutral colored bedsheet. You might also bring a photo blanket for a textured backdrop. We recommend using an exposed brick or concrete wall as a fantastic backdrop for photos. These come in many shapes and sizes, ranging from small pop-up versions to massive rolls. In this case, a sturdy background stand is necessary. Professional photographers roll the material down on a frame in a similar manner. Necessary Equipment for Outdoor Portrait Photography here is what you must have to start outdoor portrait photography. Camera, lens, tripod, lights, light modifiers, umbrellas, photography backdrops, soft boxes, scrims, design and decor, light stand, photography studio space. Thanks for watching our video. 
please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Comment if you have any feedback or query, and hit the bell icon for regular notifications.